Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to be doing number one in the 5.5 practice number two. So number one says cotangent of theta equals one plus cosine of two theta over sine of two theta. So what I see right off the bat, which is what we're working on right now, is the cosine of two theta and the sine of two theta. I also notice that cotangent over here is not in sine and cosine, and this side does have sine and cosine. So I'm going to change cotangent into cosine over sine because I feel like that might help me in the long run. I don't really see anything else I can do on the left side, so I'm going to work into the right side. So as you know, I have three different options for cosine of two theta, and I want to choose really strategically which option I'm going to use. I only have one option for sine of two theta, so I can use that one right off the bat. So sine of two theta is two sine of theta cosine of theta. And in the top, I have one plus, and I'm going to choose what I'm going to use for cosine of two theta. So as I choose this, I want to keep everything in mind that from left to right. So what I notice is I have cosine over sine over here. And over here, I have sine and cosine in the bottom. So if there were a way that I could maybe get this cosine to disappear, that would definitely be ideal. However, I have a plus sign up here, so I know I'm not going to be able to just cross something off. So I'm going to look over at my options over here. I don't really love the setup of this, so I'd prefer to look at maybe this formula sheet that I gave you in class, or maybe the one from the notes. So I have cosine squared minus sine squared, 2 cosine squared minus 1, and 1 minus 2 sine squared. So there's one of these three that I really don't want to use, um, and two of them look more ideal. So because I'm going to be adding it to one, I like the two that involve one. So I like, I like two cosine squared minus one, and I like one plus or one minus two sine squared. What I notice is that if I used this middle one, the one would end up canceling out because this is a positive one and the middle one has a negative one. So I'm going to use that one because I can see that that negative one is going to go away. So I'm going to replace cosine of two theta with two cosine squared minus one. And I can see this is going to happen. So now on that side, I just have 2 cosine squared of theta over 2 sine of theta cosine of theta. I really like how I see these 2s. And I'm at the point where I can start crossing stuff off because there's no plus or minus signs, right? Everything is multiplied on the top. Everything is multiplied on the bottom. So since I have no plus or minus signs, I can cross off those twos because I'm dividing by two top and bottom. And I also have cosine top and bottom. There's two cosines on the top and one on the bottom. So if I were to divide by cosine top and bottom, I'd be left with one up top and I'd get rid of the one on the bottom. And at that point, I would just have cosine left on top and sine left on the bottom, which happens to be the same as the left side. So we are done. And we verified the identity. All right, so that is your first example. You guys are completing the remaining four for homework.